Welcome back to 3x7 Outdoor. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you do not miss any of our new uploads. Mm -hmm. Today, we're going to teach you how to install your pinion gear fluid. If you've had your car for more than six months and you haven't changed the pinion gear fluid, your car is probably really stressed and it's probably screwed. At you that should point, probably change it right from the factory when it's brand new. I mean, mm -hmm. their fluid has been in there for however long that box has been around. So it's, it's probably a good idea to change it before you run it. But if you've had your car for more than six months and you haven't changed it, your car is probably screwed. You could, you sh it'd be best to just get a new one mm -hmm. because there's so much money that's going to go into it trying to fix it. It's just better to get a new car. It's very uh, uh, not very well known thing about the pinion fluid. And it's really weird because it's very mandatory. Every RC requires it. If you have a spur gear and a pinion gear, you need pinion fluid. Yeah. All right, so if your car sounds like this, see that sounds really bad and that means it needs pinion gear fluid. Mm -hmm. This car, I heard a squeak. Do you hear that? Sometimes after every half battery, you have to add it. We didn't change this one yesterday, or we changed the pinion gear fluid yesterday on this one, and we haven't done it yet today, so mm -hmm. I guess we'll need to do that. So what pinion gear fluid does it, is it lubricates the pinion and it makes it so that the spur gear doesn't blow its teeth and everything. We forgot to do it on the Haas yesterday. You got to keep that pinion fluid topped up. Do These it. cars are expensive. It, pinion fluid is cheap. So this is $6.99 on the Traxxas website. So it is really easy to get. All right, so we've just loosened all the screws right here and you're just going to need to pop this part right off. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And look at what happens when you don't keep up on the pinion fluid. You see how the teeth on that gear are just absolutely messed up? They're gone. Right there. It's because we didn't have pinion fluid in there. If we'd have kept that pinion fluid full, we wouldn't need part 8357 right now. But we need it, so we're going to install that. So to get to where we put the pinion gear fluid and to take the spur gear off, we're going to need to take off the back half oh, of the car. I was just going to throw a wrench to it. All right, so we took out this screw, that screw, and that screw. Now the bottom or the back comes out just like that. Then we can lift this up. There we All go. All right, so that goes down. The pin right here comes out. Just we'll slide slides right off. right off. Once again, you can see that that is messed up. Shiny, shiny, shiny. And we have a brand new one, so look at that. Shiny. So you push that back. Pop that pin in there. And then get it all lined up. Line, and then just pull it. Put her back onto here. Just put her back. There we go, the bearing is on. So this part, it just kind of sits right there. It doesn't. There, there we go. you got her. All right, so what I did to keep get that spur, spur pinion in is just. <laughs> So what I did to keep get that spur spur pinion in spur pinion in spur pinion take it like this and then press click. Down. Anyway, so now we'll fish that back in there. All of these tragic events could have been avoided had we only kept the pinion fluid filled to its proper level. <gasps> it won't Flinging go in. screws everywhere. This is mostly off camera. Oh shoot! There we go. So that just clicked right in. So listen to this sound. Well, That's that pinion good. is popping. All right, so this is where we use our pinion gear fluid. What you want to do is you want to find that little space right in there, and there should be a little hole that it seats into. Oh. Just right there. You got it. There's a little hole that it seats into, and then you're just going to squeeze some pinion gear fluid right into there. Okay. All right, now it's kind of gushing out. So now, listen to that. Wow, it's smooth. It's really smooth. Now we're just gonna put this back on. We only use a little bit, maybe. A few drops. We only use a little bit, you know, just the about. The model will last you a lifetime. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we're just gonna put this right back on there. Throw the screws to it. This car is done. We just need to put this back on there. But let's work on this car, because listen to that. It definitely needs it. Hmm. If your car sounds like that, you should be alarmed. It needs pinion gear fluid. All right, so take that body off. So on this car, it actually goes in right there. 
And just get that in there. And you have to feel for the little hole. Do you feel it? It's right there. All right. I feel it. Now squirt some in. There we go. You gotta make sure you push this back down. There we go. Okay, that lifts up automatically and then closes. Let's see. So, oh, it's not enough yet. Yeah. Okay, now less. All right, let's listen. So we, all you have to do is kind of turn the tire. Well, that's a lot better. Yeah, it's just a little bit. I mean, this yeah. car is really fast. Mm -hmm. it's, it's geared up pretty big. Yeah, so it's gonna have, have, have that. But mm -hmm. I think we fixed it up, you know? Might take a few rotations with a battery. Yeah, in listen it. to that. It's a little bit quieter rather than it being like. <coughs> it actually is more mandatory on the brushless cars rather than the brushed cars mm -hmm. because they're slower. But the brushless cars. They're slower, therefore they run out of the fluid more less, less slowly. Less quick. Yeah, so faster ones need the fluid more. So we got to finish buttoning up the Mustang and then we could try it. Show them out on the carpet track quick, how well that worked. You just about done with that? All right, one more screw after this. Battery in, we'll swing around over to the race track. All right, here we go. Sounds pretty smooth. Does it drift? You wow. know, I've got the street tires on it, so for it to really drift, we gotta put the drift tires on it. Let's get these things out of here and drift. You're still powered up? Yep. Terrible acceleration, look at this. But boy, can she do the drifting. We need an obstacle to drift around. Where's the cones? There's the cones. I messed it up. Figure eight. Stuck. And he's stuck. Boy, those wheels are slick. Pretty wide one. Mm -hmm. eh, not making it. Ah, uh, so close. I don't have the sauce, but I do have pinion fluid. She's pretty cool, isn't she? Yeah, it's smooth as butter now. Yeah. Listen to that V8 power. Try going through the gears. So there you have it, folks. How to change your pinion gear fluid in your cars. If you haven't done this once again in six or months or over, get a new car. It's just, it's worth it to get a new car mm -hmm. rather than spending all the money on fixing everything. Make sure it's topped up after every half battery. Or just every full run, you know. I think you can get a full run out of it mm. some, sometimes. If it's a faster car, then, you know, half battery is probably use it better. faster. There you go, that's how you install your pinion gear fluid. If you have any questions, comment down below and we will answer them. Yeah, once again, ring the bell. Do comments, ring bells, sum the videos up. Yeah, you know the drill, you've watched eight. Send it to other... people far and wide. Anyway guys, we hope you liked that video and we will see you in the next video. 3x7 Outdoor, signing out. Bye for now.